To get started with the Minecraft Education Edition, you'll want to click on the Create New button and start out with Templates. Under My Templates, select Blocks of Grass, hit Play, and this should get you started in your Minecraft world. Once you're in the world, it's just like creative mode. You can start building whatever way you like. This template is the easiest to start building your model since it gives you a flat canvas to lay out your design. Once you're satisfied with your structure, you'll need to place a structure block somewhere near your building. Let's search for structure. And this is the structure block that you'll need. Drag it into your inventory and place it anywhere near your building. I'm going to place it right here. And you'll notice a, an outline that kind of gives you an idea of what you'll be exporting. You'll notice it doesn't completely wrap around my structure here. So we need, we need to make some modifications. If I go up to it and hit right click, you'll see the block previewed on the right here. And we can change the size of X, Y, and Z and the offset to get our wrap. So I'm going to go and do that right now. I'm going to change the X to a 9. I think a Y to a 9. I think that might, oh, that's a little too high, but so that's fine. And Z to a 9 as well, just to get a block. Looks like we're pretty close. Uh, we're a little too far up. So I'm going to change the Y offset here to go lower, maybe negative 6. I have some dirt, so modify that to a 3. Now we have the door. And we have a little too far um, in the X direction. So let's go eight here. And there we have it. So now a complete wrap around the building that I'm going to export. Once you're satisfied with the export area, simply click on export and save it wherever you like. I'll have it saved under documents, GLBs, and I'll have this saved as digital twin design challenge. Hit save and as soon as you save, it'll generate a .glb file. And if you're on Windows, navigating to the file, you could double click on it. And by default, Microsoft's 3D Builder will have it opened up and will open your model. And you can preview it right here in the viewer. Now this file format is not yet compatible with our iTwin viewer yet. So what we need to do is export it as an OBJ file. And you could do that by clicking on the files tab at the very top left corner here clicking on save as. And what's very important to do is you want to save this file in the 3D objects directory, since the 3D builder application only has permissions to write to this directory. If you save it anywhere else, you'll have to constantly keep allowing permissions for the application, which can get a bit annoying. So I'll have this saved as the .obj format and file name, you can keep it the same, hit save here. And once that's saved, if we go to our 3D objects directory now, you'll notice all the files, textures, MTL, and the OBJ dumped into this directory. Once you have those files generated, you can navigate back to your iTwin viewer. And if we head to our directory, copy all the files that were just generated besides the 3D builder directory and simply drag and drop it and let it start uploading your files to the iTwin viewer.